Hello, I'm Nige. And I'm Anders. Welcome to the Grain Review. Uh, we're going to look at somebody's grain brew. And to, to be honest with you, it's me. Um, we did, well, I think it was Nige pointed out to me a year or two back. It was, it was a site called Glen and Friends Cooking and Things, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. It, it was almost two years ago now. Uh, yeah. Will and be. there was a video. We'll put the, the link uh, below. But the, the, yeah. it was it was your first grain brew. It was one grain, one one hop, uh, and one gallon. Just, just a small batch. Yeah. And I had a go. And I, it came out all right. I had a few disasters, but it, it, in the end, it took a while, but it did taste all right. But the stink, it was just when you, you're mashing it and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was smell of Weetabix. So that's what we call, we call it it's Weetabix. The Weetabix beer. Yeah. Um, and I've done three previous versions of this. Yep. So this is Weetabix 4.0. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I have a funny feeling that there is a chance that this can get a bit feisty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my beer cam on, open it up, and uh, we'll see what happens, eh? I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> oh, hey. That was lovely. It's pouring well. Mine's a bit too feisty. Wow. Quite an aroma. I'm getting it from a long arm pour there. Yeah, it's it does smell very nice. Um, I, I've tried this several times. Like I say, this is the fourth one. Um, I increased production by 300%. <laughs> um, and uh, and increased um, the hops in there to uh, by almost double that. Yeah. Um, so that's why in, in the previous versions I've had have been a little bit, a bit bland. Um, it's, it's, this one seems to have worked all right, I think. It's a bit cloudy. It's not as yours. It is cloudy. Yeah. Most of mine have been cloudy. Yeah. My, my first batch was cloudy, uh, but there was a couple I'd left for ages and, yeah. them up and they were crystal clear and it tasted like proper beer. Mm -hmm. I think I'd bottled things too early as often the case well yeah. i i gave this a, a couple of weeks i think i gave this two, yeah. two and a half three weeks in the barrel so before bottling it so well actually do you think we should tell the good people what, what grain and what hop we used well um we've got munich malts in there that's that's your basic malt one malt yep one malt uh one hop tetanang hops um and that's it uh, I'll stick down details of, with regards to amounts of sugar and stuff like that. Yeah. No sugar in the initial brew, just That's primary, primary sugar yeah. near the end. Um, and it's coming out at just shy of 3.7%. Okay, so it's quite a, it's a glugging beer then. It's a glugging beer, session beer, I reckon we're talking. It, the aroma is a, it's a bit of wheat coming off of it. Are you getting wheat, are you? Okay. What's you that? tell me what you think. Yeah, yeah, I did the yeah. brew. You tell me what you think. I know there's no wheat in it. But... I know what you mean. Yeah, I do know what you mean there. Yeah. Anyway, going in. Chin chin. Yes. Well, the first thing I can hit me straight away when I've done that version and your previous versions, mm -hmm. the hops hit me a lot more. <laughs> and is that... Well, I did, like I say, I dialed the hops up a lot on this one. The, the, the bitterness is, is much more, and you get, it's quite a nice lingering uh, mm. 
Green buzz from the hops, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, there's a flavour that I can't quite get. It's almost orange, I think. Is it? There's something right at the end, isn't there? I think yeah. it's a little bit orangey. I can't work out what there is. I haven't done anything orangey in there. I've stuck to the letter of the law on this, just mm. increased volume and hops. Yeah, very bitter. I think I would personally dial down the hops just a tad. Would you? So. Okay. <laughs> it's good, though. I, I, it's very rare for me to say that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm very happy. It's, it's by far the best that I've done so far of, of this. No, I, I had one of your, your first batch, which was far better than my, my, my batch, well, the early ones of my batch. And it was mm -hmm. quite simply, it was streets ahead of my early early one but this is a, it's an if you've never done grain brewing before this is an ideal introduction to it you can scale it up if you want to do a bigger batch you don't have, just have to do the 8.1 hmm. but yeah it's easy peasy there's not much equipment if you're brewing uh Beer kits at home, you've got most of the kit. All you need is a pot on the stove, a yeah. bag, a thermometer, a uh, patience, and, and gloves. And gloves, yeah. Gauntlets or something to to squeeze that with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, and a bag for the hops as well. But that, that's, yeah. It's not a huge amount. It's not a huge amount. It's not a big move away from, from kit brewing. So... And your first grain brew, it takes practice. I, I have my first four. I think I had one all right and three pretty much disasters, one one reason or the other. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, because it, it's because when once you get into the the whole arena of doing grain brews yourself. Let's face it, when you get a kit, there is a little bit of tweaking that you can do. Um, and, you know, temperature and um, uh, water, whatever water you use comes into play. But when you're doing a grain brew, there's a lot more that can go wrong. Um, or that you have to keep an eye on, really, I suppose. Yeah, that's just getting your process going. It is. That's all it is. Yeah. Anyway, how's your beer going, Dan? Too well. How's yours going, Dan? Uh, very well, thank you very much. It's my first one of the well, evening. Hard day at work. Yeah, absolutely. Going down like Billy O. Mm. Don't think we need a break today. So, would you oh. like to? By the way, details below on the on the, on the brew. Yeah, uh, it's it's a good good glugging beer. It's a great glugging beer. Um, I'm I'm happy. Like I say, I think it's my finest. I'm not sure if you agree, but hey, each to their own and all that. Um, we're talking little differences, really. Anyway, I'm going to wind this one up. Thank you for watching, people. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.